All right, how you doing today? Today we're taking a look at the manual mode inside Drummer in Logic Pro 11. Really cool new feature they added. It's also available in the bass player and the keyboard player. Please do check out my other videos. I have hundreds of other videos in my back catalog for music production, a lot of Logic Pro stuff as well, and especially a lot of Logic 11 Pro, or Logic Pro 11 stuff coming out too. So please subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos coming out. Check the playlists and other videos that will be linked in this video somewhere. But anyways, let's get right into this. So we're going to select the drummer here. And it doesn't really matter which style we pick here. Let's just pick um, out any pop sounds good. Yes, let's try that. So create this. Now we have no other instruments right here. It's just a blank slate, blank screen, blank project, whatever you want to call it. So by default, we get a beat like this. Very nice. So, but if we go over here to manual mode, we can make this kick and snare, you know, basic snare two and four, kick drum, four on the floor, or whatever we want to do here. All the other stuff stays the same with the hi-hat, the drums, or the fills and stuff like that. We can change this up, and you can see it rewriting itself here. Maybe we want to beat like this. And we can make this two bars, we can make this four bars, different steps here as well. So if you want, you know, two bar pattern, something different on the second bar here, we can just go here, put this snare drums on the two and four, we put a three there, we put something like this. And then we have a two bar pattern that's going to complete with the kick and snare repeat, I should say, not complete. I don't know what that says what I'm, or what I'm talking about. And then of course, here we go. So pretty cool. And then we go back to our main, we can adjust the fill amount. Let's get crazy with the fills and intensity and stuff like that. We have the different hi-hat patterns here as well that we can switch between. Of course, our manual mode got a little crazy because we put in different stuff here. Manual pattern should be the same, but we have all these fills, so it added a little bit more. That's because of the fills. Let's turn that down a bit. So that's pretty cool. And then we could lock in our fills and stuff like that once we find some fills we like. And then we just have a whole different pattern that Logic created. And again, we could change in, add in our different hi-hat patterns here. Whatever we want to do with that, keep that the same. We put the fills here, get a little more detailed. The ghost notes, add some more of those in. And then we can just add in our bass player and go from here. We could have the bass player follow the drummer as any other way before. Um, let's see here. Follow chords, follow track, drums. Now our bass player is following the manual pattern that we created. locked in very nicely. So pretty cool. Just a really nice additional feature to the drummer and Logic and of course the other session players as well. We could do the same thing with the bass. Maybe we want to not have it follow that. Just do it on the upbeats here. keeps clicking out of that just having fun with this new project or logic pro 11 here check out my channel i have hundreds of other videos that is all for now i will talk to you soon